If what you're saying is true, it means... It means that I'm Gothel's daughter. And your destiny belongs to me. Yeah, I agree. What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be discussing Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure, otherwise known as Tangled the Series. From the start of this series, I really, really loved the character of Cassandra. I liked how she appeared strong and confident, but was still vulnerable and insecure, and wanting desperately to be seen. I'm obsessed with her, she's my favourite character on the show. She's the best. So when the season two finale came around and was revealed that she would be the one to portray Rapunzel, I was devastated. You have to be careful who you trust. Why would you do this to me, Disney? Anyways, because I love the character so much, I really want her to be redeemed. And I really think there is plenty of evidence throughout season three that she will be, as she's doubted several times whether she has taken the right course of action by taking the Moonstone. She is clearly being manipulated by this enchanted girl who is probably Xantiri. She is the worst. I really think that the enchanted girl gaining a physical form at the end of Cassandra's revenge will be a turning point for her. Cassandra isn't stupid and she's going to realise she's been used and get back on Rapunzel's side. I really feel Cassandra's revenge will be the peak of her evil because it can't get any worse than this. Cassandra, I love you, but if you keep doing stuff like that, I won't be able to defend you much longer. <laughs> you need to calm down. I've seen a lot of predictions online that Cassandra's redemption might cost her her life, that she will sacrifice herself to save Corona and Rapunzel. I really don't want that to happen, so I have an alternate theory. I believe that at the end of the series, Cassandra will end up with the ultimate power, having both the powers of the Sundrop and the Moonstone. What Rapunzel thought was her destiny is actually Cassandra's. Let me explain. In season two it was explained that after the Sundrop and the Moonstone fell from the heavens, all who tried to possess the Moonstone were destroyed. So why was Cassandra able to grab the Moonstone without dying? Well, my theory is that there is a requirement to possessing the Moonstone, potentially a pure heart. In the season 2 episode Lost and Found, Demanitus explains that he set up the maze in a certain way to ensure that only those with a pure heart are able to access the ultimate power. Now you know why I tested your faith. To ensure the purest of hearts controls the power. I believe that this was not merely his preference, but actually a requirement to possessing this power. Zuntiri knew about this requirement and has been searching for years for someone with a pure heart who can be manipulated into doing dark deeds. Enter Cassandra, the perfect candidate. Before being corrupted by the Moonstone, throughout seasons 1 and 2, Cassandra has clearly been on the side of good. She's risked her life multiple times to save people. She seems to really care about Corona, so I think she's got a really good heart. The quality of her heart is even referenced in the season 3 flashback episode, Beginnings, where Rapunzel says, Let's go, little guy. See that, Pascal? I told you she had a good heart. We're gonna be best friends yet. However, her relationship with Rapunzel throughout season two was severely strained, making her vulnerable to Zantiri's manipulation. Her advice was constantly not being listened to by Rapunzel. She was right 99% of the time and nobody would listen to her and she was getting frustrated. I said we shouldn't come to this place, but did anyone listen? No. No, we did not. But in our defense, we never listened to you. Their relationship reaches crisis point in Rapunzel and the Great Tree, where Rapunzel not listening to Cassandra results in a serious injury to her hand. Her treatment during season two is clearly still bothering her, as in the latest episode she states, Cassandra, I don't think- Oh, I know. It's hard making decisions when the only friends and advisors you have left are ex-convicts and losers. The information that the enchanted girl gives Cassandra that she is Mother Gothel's daughter is the final straw that pushes her towards betraying her friend. As I said before, I really think Cassandra is going to realise she has been manipulated by the enchanted girl and turn back to Rapunzel and be redeemed. I think by the end of the series, they will need to summon the ultimate power 
to defeat Zontiri. They will need to unite both the Sundrop and the Moonstone to do this. Cassandra, I believe, will agree to hand over the Moonstone to Rapunzel. However, right before she does, Rapunzel instead gives Cassandra her Sundrop powers, making Cassandra the ultimate power holder. Cassandra will fulfill her destiny and no longer be waiting in the wings. I really hope this happens because this is a great idea. We already know that in Tangled Ever After, Rapunzel has her short brown hair back, so she probably doesn't possess the ultimate power in the end. As to why Cassandra wasn't at the wedding, I really think having the power over life and death would keep her kind of busy and possibly not human. Kind of like how at the end of Frozen 2, Elsa has to leave the kingdom because she has such heavy responsibility with controlling all the natural elements. So what do you think? Is this wishful thinking because I really love Cassandra or do you guys actually think she might end up possessing the ultimate power? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I upload Disney content every three days. So stay tuned for more stuff. Bye. Have a magical day.